Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over the Chameleon Ultra as well as the Chameleon Ultra clone, which you can find for like $17 on AliExpress. Now, this is an authentic Chameleon Ultra and they run sometimes over $150 and they're by Proxgrind. And these clones, well, I don't know who they're by, but they look exactly alike and it's actually quite scary. There's a few key differences to the sharp eye. We'll be able to go over them in a second. But it's a tiny RFID device that's able to read, write, emulate RFID NFC cards. And uh, we're talking about low frequency and high frequency. It can also save up to eight low frequency cards and eight high frequency cards, all straight on the device. And you can emulate straight from the device. It's a really popular NFC tool and it's one of the coolest devices. And I wanna say one of the first NFC devices that I like really got into, man. I love the Chameleon Ultra, like so much so that I've added them to my website a long time ago, but I'd be lying if I said I ever sold one. And that's mostly because I, yes, I keep like at least two or three authentic chameleons in stock, but the main goal here is to try to help people find really good deals. And one of the best deals you can find the Chameleon Ultra, which I got this for like 13 bucks on Black Friday, is you can get them for as cheap as 17 to $20. And that's, that's a decent price. Now, some of you might be asking, well, does cheaper mean better? And that's what we're gonna go into in this video today. Now, we're gonna measure the clone first with the handle. The clone has that little handle right there, which is actually a neat feature. With the handle, let's start it at the handle. I wanna say it's about 1.7, yeah, 1.7, 1.8 inches that's that's decent for those of you guys that need uh need uh centimeters there you go it's about it's a oh, well i'm gonna say it's a little over four centimeters now we're gonna grab the authentic i want to say that the authentic is a solid inch and a half like a solid inch and a half it's about four centimeters look at the authentic chameleon we have these tack switch buttons let's actually zoom in a little better. You can get them in white, you can get them in, uh, I think, blue or green. I know, you can get the clones in green. On the inside, you got a, it keeps to that gold finish. It's powered by the NRF52. You've got numbers right there that actually light up. They're tiny LEDs. You can double tap and it'll switch. Double tap again, it'll switch again. You can switch between low frequency and high frequency. You can hold for emulation. Well, you can change the modes, actually. Now, they are capable of dark side attacks. I, uh, I don't, I won't, hmm. You'd get better if you're, if you're trying to, you know, if, of course in the realm of like testing your own hardware and ethically, you can get better performance from a Proxmark 3, but you know, I digress. It's, it's still a very, very powerful, versatile device. There's a tiny battery in here and they last pretty long. They, they do a good job. Yeah, they're, they're just, almost just about as shiny except the authentic one shines i want to say a little better i you i you honestly couldn't tell the difference but if you look at the screws the screws are actually just a little different just a tiny bit different like to the average eye you couldn't tell the difference also on the authentic it's very like uh it's very straight and if you look at the clone there's kind of a tiny bulge right there. I don't know if you can see that bulge. And I, I find these that these like little tiny imperfections, they are very common in clones. And I think that's mostly because of this, um, you know, this ABS that they use to add a handle, which I find nice. You can, it's definitely a nice handle for it. It's these tiny imperfections. Now, if I line these side by side, tell me if you can tell the difference. Now on the authentic chameleon, it really stays true to that black and gold finish. Now on the clone, it's a little more orange than it is gold. As a matter of fact, look at um, look at the silk screening, like the gold, the silver and gold silk screening in here. They keep the arrows the same. The arrows look exactly the same. I want to see these the the pads right here that uh, the USB-C port is soldered to on the original they're filled in as opposed to the clone you can tell that they're they're very they're they're, they're not as filled in so it's it's a it's it's a it's a little different also if you take a look at the um the differences in the top you can tell that like right here you have two uh two little caps 
and over here you've got four. It is, it is quite different. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna grab a USB-C port and we're going to plug one in. And this is the clone with the charging light indicator. It comes out just the same. And we're gonna grab the authentic one and we are going to do the same. Now on the authentic, you get the, that little key ring right there. Over here, you obviously don't. They both glow exactly the same. It's, yeah, it's just about the same. I wanna say that, yeah, the patterns are, it's, it's exactly the same. Now, another, another key difference that we're gonna look at here, let me see if I can actually bend these like this, is if we look carefully, the RF and the RF right here, the RF on the clone is a little bit more like bold. Also, it's a lot more gold on the clone than it is um, on the authentic. The authentic is white, whitish, silverish on the bottom right about here. I would use my finger pointer, but I, I need to be a, a little bit more precise. Is uh, look at the caps down here on the fake and look at the caps down here on the authentic. It's almost like they're arranged a little differently. So, so far we have the RF and the RF the caps right here and the caps right here. Like look in this general area, look at this general, I feel like I'm playing Where's Waldo. And it's a lot more geometric right here than it is on the authentic. And the caps look a little bigger right here than they do on the authentic. The LEDs on the authentic are a lot bigger than they are on the clone. And lastly, we have the USB-C is a lot more filled in on the authentic than it is on the clone. As, oh, well, as well as the standoffs. The standoffs right here are also off-putting. I want to say it's a one for one. So now we're in the Chameleon Ultra UI. We're going to go to read card. High frequency card. We're going to stick our tag straight to it. Mind you, there's an, uh, an antenna mod that you can do. I just, I, I don't want to do it. I, I like the silk screening. And we're going to let that read. We're going to scroll this up a little bit. And we're going to check keys from dictionary. Okay. So that's the authentic. So now we're gonna pretty much do the exact same thing and to make it pretty much short for you, it cracked it in the exact amount of time. Every single thing about it is exactly the same. So as you guys can see, there's no differences between the authentic and the clone. As a matter of fact, the silk screening is exactly the same. Now the back components, ah, they're slightly more arranged on the clone for some reason, which is crazy, man but they're as cheap as like 17 to $20. And I've linked this exact one down below in the description. And these are one of the coolest tools that you can add to your arsenal. And I, I love mine. Now, do I carry an authentic one with me every day? No, absolutely not. But I do carry a clone with me every day because it's just so tiny and I can just hold it. And as a matter of fact, I wanted to turn one into a necklace, man. But you know, that's fashion choices aside. <laughs> I, um, I'd like to thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We have more videos coming very, very soon. And if you guys haven't seen our long form video on the Flipper versus Kisu, I'd uh, go watch it, man, because there's a secret, secret message somewhere in the video. But you'd have to watch the video to find out. We go over different variations of tech daily in our shorts. And I thank you guys so much for making this so exciting and fun for me to wake up every morning and work and then make videos while I'm working. You guys are awesome. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you to every member of the community. You guys are what make this so fun, man. We'll see you next time.